Welcome to Learn Instrumentation Engineering. Why are we using 4 to 20 milliamps signal to transmit field signal from field to control room? And what are the other advantages of using 4 to 20 milliamps signals would be detailed in this video. So in this YouTube channel Learn Instrumentation Engineering, you would be learning more basic fundamentals and concepts of instrumentation and the control system engineering latest updates and upgrades which is happening in and around instrumentation globally additionally we would be covering latest oil and gas news updates in this channel so if you are an instrumentation uh, engineer a budding student or even an expertise in the field of instrumentation field do subscribe to our channel and i am pretty sure that i add more values to your knowledge so let's get into this video any process parameters such as temperature, flow, pressure, density is since are measured by a sensor and it is converted into an electrical signal in the form of voltage. The voltage from the sensor is sent to the transmitter from where it converts into a standard current output signal and that is 4 to 20 milliamps signal. Most of the applications globally use 4 to 20 milliamps to transmit signal instead of 0 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 5 voltage. So why basically we should use 4 to 20 milliamps signal? We all know that a process parameter uh, is being sent as 4 to 20 milliamps signal from field to control room. So this is how the uh, percentage is related with 4 to 20 milliamps. You could see over here for 4 milliamps we have 0 percentage process parameters for 8 milliamps it is 25 percentage, 12 milliamps 50 percentage, 16 milliamps 75 percentage and finally 20 milliamps would be 100 percentage of the process parameters. So you could easily find that if an instrument signal shows 0 milliamps it means that there is no power supply in the instrument signal cable so there might be a possible signal cut or a cable open so if we are using 0 milliamps for 0 percentage it would misguide us to show that there is a 0 percentage process parameter so this is called live zero concept so it is easy to detect the signal wire is not broken if 0 milliamps, we would be unable to identify whether that is a signal or a wire broken. So this is the main reason to use 4 to 20 milliamps signal that is called the live zero concept. Apart from that, we do have different advantages of using this 4 to 20 milliamps. When the transmitter was first introduced, it was working on pneumatic pressure signal 3 to 15 PSI for transmission. So later when electronic chips were introduced, those required a minimum of 3 milliamps of current to function. So a margin of 4 milliamps was taken as a reference signal. That is why we are using 4 as a basic milliamps signal to transfer the signal. And any electrical circuit needs uh, two conductors, that is positive and negative. So in a 4 to 20 milliamps, two wire loop powered from your field transmitter, it gets its power over the same two wire and also the signal in the same uh, two wire. So you don't require any additional uh, wire or cable to transmit the signal. So in two wire, we power the transmitter at the same time we use uh, the same two wire to send signal from field transmitter to control room apart from that 4 to 20 milliamps can be designed for intrinsically safe approval for use in hazardous areas which allows troubleshooting of the circuit while it is live and powered condition and 4 to 20 milliamps signal is less susceptible to noise pickup than a voltage circuit so 4 to 20 milliamps is relatively free from interference and crosstalk from other signals. Additionally, 4 to 20 milliamps has little signal loss in its circuit, 
whereas voltage drop across resistance for voltage signal creates an error. This is the only reason uh, we are using 4 to 20 milliamps to transmit to a maximum distance that is more than 1 kilometer and you don't get any signal loss whereas if you use a voltage you may get an voltage drop. Additionally a value slightly above and below the nominal 4 to 20 milliamp signal uh, can be uh, considered as a signal or major fault. So when used with a normal 24 volt DC loop power supply, uh, no one touches the wire terminals and gets shocked, right? The main uh, important uses of 4 to 20 million signal is that it can carry hard digital data superimposed on its primary DC signal. So apart from 4 to 20 milliamp signal, it can carry a lot of process and uh, uh, smart parameters along with this cable. And finally, a uh, 2 wire 4 to 20 milliamps commercial instruments are isolated and floating. So ground loops and their associated errors and faults are relatively rare. So this is the basic reason for 4 to 20 milliamps. Uh, signal which is widely and globally used in all process industries and in this video I think you would have got a better understanding on usage of 4 to 20 milliamp signal if you really like this video just hit the like button and share to our instrumentation and control system community and if you want to watch such instrumentation engineering videos and uh, related technological updates do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering thank you